Now, in update 21, we've seen a grand total number of 32 weapon changes or buffs. Some of these were meh. One, I think, was just an increase to mastery rank, but it still got classified as a buff. I mean, what the fuck is the logic behind that? And other buffs looked really, really interesting. Hey, so how are you all doing? So this is, of course, the Sycorus Prime, a mediocre weapon for such a long time, an average burst fire pistol that was pretty much mastery fodder for a lot of the Warframe player base. That's, of course, if you were lucky enough to get your hands on it before it got vaulted. Now, the stat changes that the weapon received in Update 21 have changed it from being a bit of a mediocre weapon into more of a powerhouse, or even an endgame powerhouse, if there is such a thing as endgame in Warframe that isn't fashion frame, and I am seeing the weapon being used a lot more when I jump into public matches, and it was being mentioned in my stream a lot yesterday as well as to how good it is now. Now, its base damage has been buffed from 40 up to 50, its crit chance is now 25%, and its status chance is now 20% as well. So between Update 19 and update 21 the Sycorus Prime has been buffed twice to bring it up in line with our top tier weapons which is great because it gives us more of a selection of weapons to use and if you have one gathering dust in your inventory then you need to break it out dust it off and of course get ready to wreck heads with it because like I said it is a fine weapon now if you have one on console then go ahead and stick some former on it and get ready for this update when it drops in a few weeks time now as for it being vaulted right now I believe its parts are still pretty cheap and you might even have some relics laying around that still have some of the Sycorus Prime parts on it from when it got unvaulted I think in December and January with the fire and ice pack. Now it's pretty much the pistol version of the Sabaris or the Sabaris Prime. It's a three round burst pistol with well balanced impact, puncture and slash damage. It's got a high critical chance and a solid status chance as well. So if you like burst weapons then it's going to be ideal for you. If you don't like burst weapons then probably won't be. And the only real downsides that I've found to the Sycorus Prime, and I'm kind of nitpicking here, is its magazine size, which is kind of low at 24 rounds in the magazine, which will leave you with eight trigger pulls before you need to reload, which honestly isn't really that bad. Like I said, I'm kind of nitpicking. And it's got a two second reload, which also isn't terrible either. But apart from those, it is an incredible weapon. Now I have three former on my Sycorus Prime and with my build, I have 71% crit chance, four time multiplier, and of course an 80% status chance but I also have hydraulic crosshairs on there to increase that crit chance to give me those orange crits. Now I honestly haven't stopped using this since update 21 dropped because of how damn good it is. I did show a small bit of footage earlier on in the video comparing it to the Euphona Prime against an enemy with no ammo just to give you a rough idea as to how fast it can kill compared to the Euphona Prime. So it didn't kill it as quick as the Euphona Prime because it was just one bullet but remember the enemy had no ammo whatsoever but the Sycorus Prime still killed that level 145 heavy gunner really really quickly. Now let me know what you guys think of the Sycorus Prime if you're on PC and you have one and you're using it since the update what do you think of it now if you're on console then are you looking forward to getting the new and improved Sycorus Prime once the update drops do me a favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't subscribe for more Warframe and as always thanks very much for watching